A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Brian D0313. Dead Zergling. Radio Raptor. And Vlad Tepish3176. You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here with some more The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last time, we tried a interesting seed, seed run. It was suggested to me, but I suppose now it's time to try to make some progress once again, as difficult as that has been for us in the past. So, let's see. It looks like... We definitely need to beat Greed with Lilith, because that's something I have not managed yet for some reason. Possibly because of poor gameplay. Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay. If you don't know, the thing about Lilith is, she has this uh, familiar, and that's where all of her shots come out of. This will give us an extra heart and a trinket. Blasting cap in this case. I don't remember exactly what it does, but that's okay. So we'll take a look at what we have in our shop. Ooh, a D6. That would be uh, that would be great if this character didn't pretty much rely on her box of friends in order to get by. So probably we'll just go with the Jesus Juice. I will go ahead and pop in here. And we get Justice. Not a bad card. Okay, so the way we want to use Lilith for greed runs is... We want to pop our box of friends as often as possible before we start uh, hitting the button and attacking enemies because as the waves spawn we get free charges from our spacebar item which in this case will allow me to use this repeatedly which is what we want because that's really the only thing Lilith's got going on for her. You know, well, she can also uh, occasionally create more familiars, but I almost never actually see that happen, so I don't know what the circumstances are behind getting it to occur, I'm afraid. But, you know, we work with what we got, and what I got was hit. Well... It's been a week since I last played, so of course I'm going to be a little rusty at first. Don't mind me, just uh, dodging around as best as I can. Damn it! Oh, that got rid of some guys. Good. Screw those guys. Yeah, Lilith might be one of, if not definitively, my least favorite character, just because I hate trying to freaking aim her stuff. I'm not good at it, to say the least. But I'm sure you could uh, figure that out just by watching me, honestly. Another Duke of, Lies, Duke of Flies. We've two in a row. Okay. So hopefully we'll have our box recharged by the time we get to the next floor. And with one more, we can spawn a Devil Room. Or Angel Room, what have you. It just depends on the luck of the draw sometimes. Not that uh, Lilith here is that likely to start off with Angel Rooms. I would imagine she'd start with a pretty high Evil Up stat. But who knows? I certainly don't. Um... I will go ahead and take this, because if I get lots of hearts, that'll come in handy. If I don't, you know, even if I don't, it's still a familiar, and that'll get doubled when I use my box. So, let's see, can I afford a key? Yes, I can. Can I afford the juice? Yes, I can. Good. It's uh, nice to have a plan in place. And we also get a odd mushroom, which is fire rate up, which is good. I don't like that I only have one red heart going forth, but um, like I say, we can use the shop to 
maybe pick up some more red hearts and that'll be useful to me to me I've had very little success with Lilith in the past Should have picked up another key while I was back there but that's okay ooh that uh, screw might be helpful as well but we'll start with a key on account of because I need to find out what my item is. It is a scary eyeball that does freeze effects. And, alright, a pentagram is a huge damage up. So as long as I don't immediately die, I should be able to uh, do brisk business for myself. See? Two leeches and two uh, little fellas. Succubus? Incubus? I don't know. Whatever the thing is, hopefully they'll help me out some, instead of just standing around with their non-existent thumbs up their asses. Yeah, I don't want to mistakenly uh, think the wrong thing is my leech. But it could happen. It very well could. I was hoping these things would go down a little quicker than that. Apparently not. We're doing alright, though. Ah! That was very nearly a disaster. But I was saved at the last second. I'll show you how. Okay, we've got a pretty good entourage here going on. Not, uh... Not what I would consider exceptional, but decent. The um, freeze attack really helping out a lot. Beauty. Try this again. And we have the amazing Ragman, who will be our next opponents. Oh, we'll get hit. Alright, there's our Devil Room, which I probably should have waited on, and we got Krampus, which is not safe at all here. Ah, oh, that's what I was worried about. I'm sad that I'm going to lose my leech, but I'm happy that I got a lump of coal. You know, maybe I'll be able to find myself some health, maybe not. Ah, uh, what do I want? What do I want? I will take this. Here's in shot speed up. Ooh! And I accidentally grabbed the halo, but that's good because it was, in fact, a all stats up. So that's good. This is good. This is what we want to see. Would have kind of liked to have uh, had, a, had another key handy for the next floor, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. As almost no one really says these days. However, fear not. Anything good? Cancer trinkets, really good. Um, nothing else here that I particularly want. Oh, and I just realized that I have a justice card that I forgot all about. Why don't we use that now? Justice. And now I've got a key that I wanted. And also a bomb, because this guy could drop money. He did, in fact, drop some money. Just what I needed. Good. Now, do I want to go ahead and grab that cancer trinket right now? Yes, I do. Because it pays great dividends, as you can clearly see. Then we'll go in here, get my blood clot, more damage up. We are getting lots of damage ups. That's good. That's what you want to see. Now, if I just had a way to get lots of spirit hearts, uh, that'll do nicely, thanks. Okay. This could be a better run by far than we've had in the past. We shall see. Ah, I did not see that spider, though. It was kind of hard to tell that it was there, you know. 
Larry Jr. is getting absolutely demolished. Good, screw that guy. And the Tari stools also being wiped out at a higher rate. I don't think I need to use my last um, charge there, because I think that's pretty much enough. I want to save it just in case there's nothing in the next room. That way I'll have it, you see, for the next floor. This is a fairly decent build. I am not disappointed with the way this is going at all. But give it time, and I'm sure something bad will happen to change my mind. As is frequently the case. Loki. And probably one of... Yeah, that guy. Ah, I can't remember his name right now. Horn. His name is Horn. Little Horn. And a couple of runes. Vision rune and a resistance rune. I will use the vision rune here. And then that will allow me to find any secret rooms. Which it looks like there's one right up here. But do I have a bomb? Yes, I do. I don't know where I got the bomb. But whatever. Wow. Great, great room, that. Oh, and I should look in here. Eh, broke even. Now what? What do I want? Don't want really anything in here. Save everything for the next floor, I guess. Well, I'll get a key, in case they don't happen to just have one handy on the next floor. Because sometimes they don't. Usually they do. Ah, see? That's what I'm talking about. There was nothing in this room, so I wouldn't have gotten my last charge for my box. Is there a bomb up here? There was not. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy the box to get a bomb. I, it, this is honestly probably not worth it, but that being said, it is a key and a bomb that I need. And a pill, which was a luck up, so cool. And I'll keep this resistance rune for later. The toenail, not so much. Now, where did that tinted rock go? Here you are. Yes. All in all... Probably was worth it. Very good, very good. What is next? And what is next is more of the same. That is... Wide shots. Okay. And HP and luck up. Good. Or HP. That is handy to have with my little leech buddy. And some flies. Probably not worth the heart. Um, the BFF. I can't remember if that makes my familiar stronger or if it does something else, but I'm going to get it when I get the chance to get it. Which will be after this room. Clearly. Oh, the brains, the brains, the brains. Whoa. Let's, uh, go easy out there, game. You're, you're not going easy, are you? What's left? More crap. Ghosts. Ghosts are not remotely safe. For me, for you, for anyone, really. Must have been up top. Oh, jeez. This shit is dangerous, man. Extreme danger. That's what I'm picking up off of this. That's what they're putting down. But look at all the... Look at all the ammo I'm pumping into the room. That's got to be worth something, right? Right. And we've got... Uh, whatever that guy's called. I don't recall immediately at this time, at this particular juncture. Not the haunt. The scary blood laser ghost.
The big boob. Monstro 2, getting turned into a laughing stock. Awesome. I am quite fine with that. Absolutely. Love it. Okay, what's next? What do we got? We got Guppy's Collar. I'm not gonna waste a heart on that. Frankly. Um, and I was gonna grab this, right? Your friends rule. Yes! Now my familiars are even bigger and more powerful than ever. This pleases the Rosser. Cuban meat might be good too, but I think I'll save my money because I don't have any other orbiters anyway. You know. Okay. Moving on. Dunk. Okay, what we got? What we got? We have got more damage and HP up. Out effing standing and more shot speed up. And range. And evil. Evil. Evil! Okay. Let's do this. And we are currently having it done. Those are exploding spiders. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Were. They were exploding spiders. Spiders. As opposed to an exploding Rosser, which is what I got there. As a largish Larry. Dropped a penny. A whole penny. It is really hard to see in this black background. Remember last time when I said I was going to close the shutters on my windows to reduce glare before I started? I lied. I'm doing it now. Because I'm a genius. Pure, unadulterated genius. I don't know what was down there, but it's uh, taking a lot of damage. Oh, it's this guy. It was that guy. He did. Is he safe? No, he did. Now two of his younger cousin there, maybe three, possibly. Something's up there shooting at me. Oh, you frozen. Good for you. You stay that way. Another cube of meat. Game really wants me to have a cube of meat, doesn't it? Um, you know what? If there's still one in the shop, I'll take this one. And then I'll take the one in the shop. Oh, there isn't one in the shop, because that was the other floor. Oh well. It's a moot point. I will take... You know what? If I take this, it'll help. And I'll take that for the extra thingies, and that is all I am going to buy. From now on, I'm going to save my money. Saving my money now. Saving my money. I don't really care if we put a lot of money into the greed machine at the end, I just care that I get through this with Lilith for once. Because that really has been a huge thorn in my side. Oh man, if I had a bomb though. The Tented Rock and a couple of those guys. You know the ones. Oh, there is a bomb. Okay then. I'm going to blow these guys up and hope for cash. That bomb paid for itself. Then I'm gonna blow this tinted rock up. Let's see what we get. Just one spirit heart. So five cents for a spirit heart is what that boiled down to. Which, not great, but. You know, what you're gonna do, right? Yeah! Doubled my cube of meat. Now I've got Meathead, who does comparatively little damage compared to all this other great stuff we got going on. Whoops. Almost, uh, put myself in a dangerous spot there. Almost. 
Reed's quickly becoming flayed. Oh, there's my meat guy, meat dude. Skating on thin ice, meat man. Little haunts and bounding enthusiasts. Oh, right. Gotta, you know, hit them from angles and the behind places so that I actually do some damage. Very important, that. And... yeah. This won't take long. Ah! Uh, it's a multi-head massacre of epic proportions. I'm denting so many noggins. Wow. Sucks to be you, um, bone worm thing, whose name I don't remember either. Wow. I did not expect to see an angel. I also did not expect to get hit, but these things happen. Alright. Where is my devil room? Here you are, here you are. Ah! It's a tiny little dude. You know what? I don't really need either of these either. Quite frankly, I mean... Ah, what the heck, we'll do one more familiar. Why not? Just to keep the theme going, you know. It'll just be that much more damage output once I get to the final battle, so it'll be, it'll be good. Are my shots going through the rocks? I don't remember getting anything that was Spectral Tears. Must have been that uh, wide shot thing that also caused that to happen. Quite possibly. Anyway, I think this will probably be a quick fight, so that'll make me very happy. If that is, in fact, the case. If not, who knows? Wow, they were very generous. Good for them. Alright, and if I take a few hits, I can just use my box of friends again, because with the nun's habit, it gets a charge every time I take a hit. That's why we got it. I thought this through. Somewhat. A little bit, maybe. Just a little bit. This guy does have a ridiculous amount of health, which may or may not be dependent on um, how much damage you're, you actually do. I don't really know the truth behind that, so I couldn't tell you. I hope he bombs some of these keepers. But he probably won't. Not if I keep freezing him up. Bomb nerve racking. There's the bombs. Uh, sounds like the keepers dropped some money and then he picked it up. Ah, got it. I made a profit on that, so I'm I'm cool with it. Yep, 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 yep. This is a massacre. Sometimes you just get a lucky build and it makes you feel real good. The Cancer Trinket really turned it around, I think. I don't know why I've had such bad luck with this character before and why it's better now, but... Damn it! He's stealing my money! I need that money. It's my money. It's not your money. It's not your money. It's not your money. Box of friends. House of pain. Increase my damage output a little more, why don't you? I am fine with that. Box of friends has appeared in the basement. You mean it wouldn't before? Well, that's very interesting. Now let's see if I can put... How much money I can actually put into this thing. Go around back. What could our next unlock be? I do not know. But we've got a pretty decent chunk of change, assuming the machine doesn't jam. 
pretty satisfied with the way that went overall. Actually made some progress today. Haven't been able to say that in a while. I'm guessing it'll be around 500 before I get any more unlocks, won't it? Well, that might take a while. Oh, that's all of it. So, we'll just uh, hop on in there and we get our ending and I got to enjoy a non-shitty run. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, my allergies keep stuffing my nose up. I swear I don't have a cold. It's just that everything has an inch of damn pollen on it outside, and every time I peek my face out the door, I'm stuffed up for hours. Nothing can be done, though. That's what you get in the springtime. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. This has been your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>